Welcome to Lab 1123, Visualizing Hierarchical Data in Performance Analytics Dashboards. Uh, so what we're talking about today is utilizing data structures that already have hierarchical structures within your system. For example, user records. Our user has a manager. That manager is also a user who has a manager. That manager is a user who has a manager, and so forth. That's one of the types of data structures or hierarchical structures that you have in your environment. And we'll talk about how to leverage that to get multiple levels of breakdowns in your dashboards. I am Dan Kane, and I am a senior product manager in the Now Intelligence Business Unit with ServiceNow. I've been with ServiceNow for about seven and a half years. Uh, prior to that, I was a service IT service management practitioner um, in various roles for about 20 years IT management director trainer all across the board and was also the product champion for uh, service now as a customer the agenda for this session is uh, we're going to take a look at first the uh, breakdown matrix that's going to be a critical piece to help us create the foundation for working with hierarchies in the in the performance analytics environment then we'll take a look at breakdown relations another way to achieve multiple layers of breakdowns within the performance analytics uh, we'll take a look at the ability to use scripting and sc roll up scripts to create hierarchical structures or to sorry to leverage the hierarchical structures in uh, your dashboards and then I'll take a look at alternative approaches because scripts are usually we consider scripting to be kind of a last resort when it comes to uh, performance analytics so we'll talk about some of the alternative approaches and then finally we will have a wrap up with the lab on breakdown security so how you can create um, security around the various breakdowns so different users only see the uh, breakdown options let's say you only see the groups that they belong to or or some other thing like that what we would like you to walk away with from uh, with from this session is uh, first multiple techniques for displaying your hierarchical data um, secondly the ability to use breakdown relations for the bigger picture so I can see that you know for example um, as if I'm logged in as a specific manager I might be able to see breakdowns that include just the employees that report to me and then third uh, reporting on n levels of hierarchy one of the limitations of the scores storage for performance analytics is that it only stores two layers of breakdown so what we'll talk about in this in this section is uh, how to achieve uh, multiple levels of breakdown within your using hierarchies just to provide some context uh, in so we're talking about uh, we're using breakdown hierarchies. We're saying using the breakdown context that already exists in performance analytics. This is a 300 level course, so hopefully we already understand what breakdowns are pretty well. Um, but then knowing that breakdowns can only be applied at, a, at, at two different levels. Performance analytics gives you the ability to leverage hierarchies that you have already defined in your instance to uh, present that right level of information. And it's important to understand how your users use the information that's being displayed to them. So do they need to see it from a perspective of a location hierarchy, a user hierarchy, a business unit hierarchy, and so forth. 